Okay, uh, <clears throat> the B movie script. Why? Why am I doing this? Well, I hit 315 subscribers. That's a big milestone for me. So, this is a celebration. It's a dead meme, but it's celebration. All right. <laughs> According to all known laws of aviation, there's no way a bee should be able to fly. Its wings are too, <laughs> too small to get its fat little body off the ground. The bee, of course, flies anyway, because bees don't care what humans think is impossible. Yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, black. Ooh, black and yellow. Let's shake it up a little. Barry, breakfast is ready. Ooming. <laughs> Hang on a second. Hello? Barry, Adam, can you believe this is happening? I can't. I'll pick you up. Looking sharp. Use the stairs. Your father paid good money for those. Sorry, I'm excited. Here's the graduate. We're very proud of you, son. A perfect record guard. All bees. Ooh, let's Jerry Seinfeld write a kid's movie. Very proud. Ma, I got a thing going here. You got lint on your fuzz. Ow, that's me. Wave to us. We'll be in row 118,000. Bye. Barry, I told you, stop flying in the house. Hey, Adam. Hey, Barry. Is that fuzz gel? A little. Special day, graduation. Never thought I'd make it. Three days grade school, three days high school. Those were awkward. Three days college. I'm glad I took a day and hitchhiked around the hive. You did come back different. Hi, Barry. Uh, Artie growing a mustache looks good. Hear about Frankie? Yeah. You going to the funeral? No, I'm not going. Everybody knows. Sting someone, you die. Don't waste it on a squirrel. Squ <laughs> Don't waste it on a squirrel. He was such a hothead. I guess he could have just gone out of the way. I love this incorporating an amusement park into our day. That's why we don't need vacations. Boy, quite a bit of pump under the circumstances. Well, Adam, today we are men. We are be men. Amen. Hallelujah. The students found guilty distinguished bees. Please welcome Dean Buswell. Welcome New Hive City graduating class of 915. That concludes our ceremonies and begins your career at Honex Industries. Will we pick our job today? I heard it's just orientation. Heads up. Here we go. Keep your hands and antennas inside the tram at all times. Wonder what it'll be like. A little scary. Welcome to Honex, a divin div div division of Honexco, a part of the Hexagon Group. This is it. Wow, wow. We know that you, as a bee, have worked your whole life to get to the point where you can work for your whole life. Honey begins with our valiant fallen jock spring the nectar to the hive. Our top secret formula is automatically, automatically color corrected, scent adjusted, and bubble contoured into the soothing sweet syrup with its distinctive golden glow you know as honey that girl was hot she's my cousin she is yes we're all cousins right <laughs> you're right at Honex, we constantly strive to improve every aspect of bee existence these bees are stress testing a new helmet technology what do you think he makes not enough here we have our latest advancement the krellman what does that do Catches the little strand of honey that hangs after you pour it. Saves us millions. Can anyone worth work on the crowman? Of course, most bee jobs are small ones. But bees know that every small job, if it's done well, means a lot. But choose carefully, because you'll stay in that job you pick for the rest of your life. The same job for the rest of your life? I didn't know that. What's the difference? You'll be happy to know that bees as a species haven't had one day off in 27 million years. So you'll just work us to death. We'll sure try. Wow, that blew my mind. What's the difference? How can you say that? One job forever? That's an insane choice to have to make. I'm relieved. Now we only have to make one decision in life. But Adam, they'd never have told us that? Why would you question anything? We're bees. We're the most perfectly functioning society on Earth. You ever think that maybe things work a little too well here? Like what? Give me one example. I don't know, but you know what I'm talking about. Please clear the gate. Royal Nectar Force on approach. Wait a second. Check it out. Hey, are those pollen jocks? Wow! I've never seen them this close. They know what it's like outside the hive. Yeah, but some don't come back. Hey, jocks. Hi, jocks. You guys did great. You're monsters. You're sky freaks. I love it. I love it. I wonder where they were. I don't know. 
Their day's not planned. Outside the high, flying nose where, doing who knows what. You can't just decide to be a pollen jock. You have to be bred for that. Right. Look, that's more pollen than you and I will see in a lifetime. It's just as sad as simple. Make, bees make too much of it. Perhaps, unless you're wearing it, then the ladies see you wearing it. Those ladies? Aren't there cousins too? Oh. It must be dangerous being a pollen jock. Yeah, once a bear pinned me against a mushroom. He had a pawn my throat with the other. He was slapping me. Oh my! I never thought I'd knock him out. What were you doing during this? Trying to alert the authorities. I can autograph that. The little gusty out there today, wasn't it, comrades? Yeah, gusty. We're hitting sunflower patch six miles from here tomorrow. Six miles, huh? Barry! A puddle jump for us, but maybe if you're not... What? A puddle jump for us, but maybe you're not up for it. Maybe I am. You are not. We're going at 0900 at J-Gate. What do you think, buzzy boy? Are you B enough? I might be. It all depends on 09, what 0900 means. Hey, Honex. Dad, you surprised me. You decide what you're interested in? Well, there are a lot of choices, but you only get one. Do you ever get bored doing the same job every day? Son, let me tell you about stirring. You grab the stick, and you move it around, and you stir it around. You get yourself into a rhythm. It's a beautiful thing. <laughs> you know, Dad, the more I think about it, maybe the honey field just isn't right for me. You were thinking of what? Making balloon animals? That's a bad job for a guy with a stinger. Janet, your son's not sure if he wants to go into honey. Barry, you are so funny sometimes. I'm not trying to be funny. You're not funny. You're going into honey. Our son, the stir. You're not funny. You're going into honey. Our son, the stir. N you're not going to be a stir? No one's listening to me. Wait till you see the sticks I have. Let's open some... Wait, I could say anything right now. I'm going to get an ant tattoo. Let's open some honey and celebrate. Maybe I'll pierce my thorax, shave my antenna, shack up with grasshopper, get a gold tooth and call everybody dog. I'm so proud. We're starting work today. Today is the day. Come on, all the good jobs will be gone. Yeah, right. Pollen counting, stunt B, pouring stir, front desk, hair removal. Is this still available? Hang on, two left. One of them's yours. Congratulations. Step to the side. What'd you get? Picking cred out? Stellar. Wow. Couple of newbies. Newbies. Yes, sir. Our first day, we are ready. Make your choice. You want to go first? No, you go. Oh my, what's available? Restroom attendance open, not for the reason you think. <sighs> I can't do this. This is... Yeah, that's, that's it for the video. This is so dumb. Okay, I'm going to skip a bit. Hold on, I'm going to skip a bit. Alright, it's not just flowers. Fruits, vegetables, they all need bees. That's our whole SAT test right there. Take away produce that affects the entire animal kingdom. And then, of course... The human species? So if there's no more pollination, it could all just go south here, couldn't it? I know this is also partly my fault. How about a suicide pact? Who jo jo let Jerry sign? <laughs> <laughs> I know this is also, also... I know this is also partly my fault. <laughs> How about a suicide pact?